I'm afraid if I laugh any harder, I may just do myself an injury. Undertaker? <laughs> we are phoenixes. Oh, I love it. And you said it with such a straight face as well. Sh bloody... <laughs> now, now, temper, my lord. This is unexpected. What brings you here? <laughs> I suppose you could call it professional curiosity. Hospitals are some of an undertaker's best customers, as you must know. Perhaps just one more phoenix pose for old... Undertaker? Oh, hello there. What are you doing? Forced labor. I was on my way to the deck when they stopped me and told me to help carry this thing. This is important. Do you know how to operate the device? What use would an undertaker have for a mysterious machine like this? <laughs> I laugh this much. I'm afraid this is where I must step in. The death of a man so entertaining would be a loss to the world, if you ask me. I cannot allow you to take his life. Sorry, little Reaper. <laughs> I suppose it's over now. A shame. I did so enjoy when this room was filled with laughter. I don't understand this. You cloaked your true power masterfully. Green phosphorescence is a dead giveaway. He's a grim reaper. <laughs> that brings back memories. It's been half a century since anyone called me that. Did you, though? When you began relying on the technology I offered, your work was no longer purely me. Do you think so? Normally, I would leave you guessing, but those phoenix poses were hilarious enough to purchase a veritable mountain of information, so I will tell you all. You are correct. I'm the one who reanimated our decomposing friends here. It's difficult to explain. At first, I suppose, I was just curious about people and their mortality. That is the task of the Grim Reapers, you see. We remove souls from the bodies in which they were housed, thus ending each record at the appointed time. It's what we do, day after day, without attachment, without incident. But after so much time spent reaping, my mind began to wander, to question. Until one day, a thought occurred to me. What if there were more after the record reached its end? No dead. Flesh puppets with no self of their own. Her skin may be waxy white and marred by sutures, but she's nearly as beautiful as in life. And now her mouth no longer babbles or lies. Her head is empty of all but a single desire. That must be a vast improvement over her living self, I should think. <laughs> Clearly, you are still a child if you don't understand the appeal, my lord. I assure you, there are plenty of people who desire my bizarre dog. <laughs> Utterly incapable of feeling... No, if he isn't wearing spectacles, does that mean he's not technically on the job anymore? <laughs> Let's end this show out! <laughs> if it's a battle you're after, I'll give it to you without restraint. Pack of dogs after a fox. Fascinating. I can't wait to see who'll sink their teeth in first. <laughs> If you're still relying on your eyes, you have a long way. How much damage can you hope to inflict with those tiny utensils? What our silver may lack in size, it makes up for in sharpness. So I see. Three dogs, and nobody managed to catch the fox. And here I thought you were going to back. Back as a fox! <laughs> Again? Impossible! Dead sides of the sharpest blades in the world! There's nothing they can't cut! So how do you keep blocking us? They say a death scythe is sharp enough to cut anything. However, we Reapers know that claim isn't entirely accurate, don't we? <gasps> there is something they can cut. Just one thing. No, impossible! That one can cut anything must be false. We'd been together so long, I couldn't bear to part with it, you understand. Though I admit smuggling it out wasn't easy. Tables have been turned, and the hunters have become the hunted. 
Are you ready, little foxes? I'm after you now. <laughs> Wasted effort. Truly, I can slice through a table as easily as snapping a biscuit. But they kept you occupied long enough for me to get inside your reach. I see you have a fair hand for strategy. Luckily, I happen to as well. Now, I've dreamt of fitting you for one of my coffins for so very long, my lord. I knew that would do the trick. Perhaps watching your record will give me the answer. Naturally, I expected nothing less from a peerless butler such as you, so I believe I shall have to remove you. Sinking arm? Seems you're dragging a human life behind you as well. Now, oh, that just leaves one. <laughs> you have no idea what a treasure it is to me. No doubt we'll meet again, my lord. Until then! <laughs> <laughs>